Hi everyone, I am here today with episode 3 of Lippy a Day. In this series, I wear a different lipstick every single day until I've gone through my entire collection. Before I put on today's lippy, I wanted to briefly mention that I will be saying goodbye to this lipstick by the brand by Terry. This is in the shade Nudissimo and it is very light for me. I think I've always known that, but maybe I just wanted to hold on to it a little bit longer before because it is a very nice formulation and I've barely used this lipstick at all. Today's lipstick is a little Marc Jacobs mini in the shade Slow Burn. This is a beautiful shade and I remember wearing it in a vlog probably a couple of years ago now and I really enjoyed it then as well. This is more my speed when it comes to nudes. So rather than retesting the Dior lipstick and the other Marc Jacobs lipstick that I have, I may just say goodbye to those because I really like this one. But I'm gonna make that decision once I've worn this for the entire day. Right now I'm thinking this lipstick is a winner and I also like that it's a mini so I'll get through it a lot faster. It is definitely a plus is that this is a lot newer than the other lipsticks that I have in my collection. I pretty much completely lost track of what day we're on but yesterday's Marc Jacobs lipstick worked out pretty well. I did like it better than a lot of the lighter shades I've been putting on lately. However, towards the end of the day I did notice that the shade was a little bit on the gray side for my liking. I would have liked a bit more of of pink in it to brighten up my skin tone but it might have been the lighting conditions as well because when I was reapplying it the lighting in the particular bathroom that I was in was a little bit on the dull slash fluorescent side. I did enjoy the lipstick otherwise. The texture was really nice and the shade was a lot more to my liking except for that one instant. I am gonna hang on to that one but I'm gonna be letting go of the Dior lipstick, the Marc Jacobs lipstick in role play and the By Terry lipstick. So those are all shades that I think are a little bit too light for me. And for a nudie shade of lipstick, I much preferred the lipstick I wore yesterday. Today's lipstick is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in the shade La Fascinante. It's a beautiful red with a blue undertone. This is the only red lipstick left in my collection besides the YSL one. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one because I wear this a lot more than the YSL shade. And I know I like the way it wears throughout the day because I've worn it several times times. Even when I had Invisalign, I would pull this out from time to time and wear this shade. So I'm definitely going to hang on to this one. I'm still unsure about the YSL one, but I'm actually leaning towards not retesting it now and just letting it go. I figured if I'm thinking about retesting something, I don't love it anyway, so I might as well not be on the fence about it, not waste any more time with the product, just go ahead and let it go. I've been reading a lot about that lately where if it's not a hell yes, it should be a no. I really enjoyed yesterday's Chanel lipstick. It just brightened up my skin tone and made me feel really good. Even though I ended up staying in the condo pretty much the entire day and just going to the gym in the evening to get my steps in. Today's lipstick is by Lancome. It's the color design series in the shade Love It. And this has become one of my favorite lipsticks. It was kind of unexpected because I didn't really think anything of this lipstick at all. The packaging is very plain. I never really read anything or heard anything about this formulation. I think I got this lipstick as part of a gift with purchase, so I just kind of chucked it aside and I didn't really reach for it until I started. I think it was my first lippy a day and I was surprised by how much I liked it. I have actually reached for this in the past couple of years, even when I was wearing Invisalign, because it's such a beautiful shade. Very neutral and nude, but adds a little pop of color. This is a cream formulation, very comfortable on the lips, reasonably moisturizing, and I just love this lipstick. We are rolling along with Lipia Day. Yesterday's lipstick worked out pretty well. It was the Lancome lipstick, but I found towards the end of the night, lip balm plus that lipstick wasn't enough by way of color for my face. I'm not sure about that one yet. I do love that shade, but I feel like it's a little bit too light for me. There's not enough pigmentation and it was a little bit drying as well. I just didn't love reapplying it throughout the night. I'm going to try to be really discerning this time with the lipsticks, so I'm actually on the fence about that one even though I have loved it in the past. 
Today's lipstick is by Too Faced and it's in the shade Spice Spice Baby. I received this in a swap with Lisa Hatcher and I absolutely love this lipstick. I think it's really pretty, a classic nude, but not too light for my skin tone. I really love this formulation of lipstick. It has no flavor, but a slight lemony scent that's really nice. This lipstick hasn't gone off. It goes on very smooth and creamy and I feel it's reasonably moisturizing. So hopefully I will continue to love it throughout the day and um, I will be back to report on this this one tomorrow. It is Super Bowl Sunday and I'm just about ready for the day, about to put on my lippy, but I wanted to give you an update on yesterday's lipstick. Yesterday I wore the Too Faced lipstick in Spice Spice Baby and it was amazing. I love that lipstick. It just wore very well throughout the day, very moisturizing. It didn't look cakey or dry out my lips. It didn't wash me out. It had the perfect hint of color without being too bright. So that is probably one of my favorite shades that I have remaining in my collection. The lipstick I'm wearing today is by Three Concept Eyes. It's in the shade Sugary Cake and it's a matte formulation. My sisters gave me this lipstick and it's one that I'm surprised by every time I put it on. While I don't often wear them, I love peachy lipsticks and I just think they're really pretty and very feminine and ethereal. When I look at myself in the viewfinder, I find I do like this shade a lot because it's a little bit surprising, a little bit different from what I normally wear, and I don't have a lot of peach lipsticks in my collection. This lipstick I think is really, really pretty and I'm excited to see how it'll wear throughout the day. I'm wondering if the matte formulation is going to be a bit tricky because my lips have been a little bit dry lately, but I'm gonna put on a lot of lip balm and see how it goes. Yesterday's lipstick worked out surprisingly well I was a little bit worried about it at first because it is quite a matte lipstick and I thought it might reapply very cakey and just wash me out completely. But I continued to reapply it during the day multiple times and I also applied a little bit of lip balm here and there and it worked out wonderfully. The lipstick was very comfortable on the lips. My lips do not feel overly dry today or anything like that. And as well, the color wore off very nicely. It was a little bit on the light side, but there was this beautiful peachy pink flush that I thought made my skin look a little more tanned than it is. So I really liked this product and I'm going to hang on to it for the time being. I'm happy about that because like I said in yesterday's clip, my sisters got me this, so I have an affinity towards it anyway, but I tried to really separate the fact that my sisters got this for me, thinking about whether or not I like this lipstick on its own, and I actually really did enjoy it. Today's lipstick is by Etude House and it's in the shade BE101. I chose this lipstick today because I felt it would be very similar to yesterday's lipstick in terms of the shade, and indeed it is. This one seems a little bit more on the nude side, whereas yesterday's lipstick was maybe a touch more peach, but the look and feel are very similar. The textures are a little bit different. The lipstick that I'm wearing now by Etude House is a little bit more of a cream formulation. There is definitely more sheen to it, whereas yesterday's lipstick was a pure matte. So I'm excited to see how this one wears throughout the day and whether it leaves that really pretty light peachy pink color on my lips. I will be back tomorrow on the Lunar New Year to check back in. It is the Lunar New Year today, so Happy New Year to those of you who celebrate. I am just in a comfy, cozy robe because I plan to spend today at home for the most part. Let's talk about yesterday's lipstick, which was the Etude House lipstick. I'm gonna be letting that one go. I did like it it when I first put it on, but towards the middle and end of the day, it didn't really do anything for my complexion. I just found that the color was very close to my natural lip color, which is pretty much no color at all, and it didn't leave that nice peachy pink flush that the Three Concept Eyes lipstick did. So I'm going to keep the Three Concept Eyes one and let go of the Etude House one. Both of them were very similar when swatched, but they wore very differently throughout the day. I don't know why that is, maybe because the Etude House was a cream formulation. The pigments didn't stick to my lips as much. Today's lipstick is by YSL. It's the Rouge Pure Couture line in shade number 66. This is a beautiful shade and it reminds me a lot of that Givenchy shade that I decluttered in my last episode. A lot of you guys actually liked that lipstick on me. I don't know why I didn't like it, but for some reason I just found it was a little bit off with my skin tone. I did rewatch the clips after you guys commented that you 
you liked the shade on me, but I still thought that it made my skin look a little bit sallow. I'm gonna stick with my decision to declutter that one, but thank you so much for your feedback on that. I actually still have all of the lipsticks because I plan to do a wrap-up video showing you exactly what I'm keeping and letting go of. This one here reminds me a lot of the Givenchy one, so I was able to swatch them side by side, and they're in the same color family, but this one is very different. I think it's a little bit lighter and a little less of that rosy color that I felt um, kind of clashed with my skin. This one I think is really pretty. I think it looks nice on my skin tone. It's not as bright as the Givenchy one, which is probably why I like it as well. I always forget about the shade, but every time I put it on, I really, really like it. I'm eager to see if that feeling stays the same as I reapply it throughout the day. Believe it or not, we're already on my last lipstick in my old collection of products. I do have a few new products, which I will save for the next episode. Before I put on today's lippy, I just wanted to say that yesterday's YSL lipstick was beautiful. I loved that shade. So I'm still gonna be letting go of the Givenchy shade, but I'm gonna hang on to the YSL one. I'm currently wearing the YSL Rouge Volupte lipstick in the shade 13. I received this in a swap with Pebbles many, many years ago, and it's the last YSL lipstick I have remaining in my collection. I used to have a lot of the sheer ones, but I've decluttered them all, and this is the one and only that is left in my collection. This is one of my favorite formulations. I just love the scent, I love the texture, as you can see by the footage, it was very easy to apply. The packaging is absolutely stunning and I think the shade is really pretty. Right now, I am loving it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this video together and then I'll come back on to let you guys know which lipstick in this episode is my favorite. I've gone ahead and started editing the video and it occurred to me how tired I look today. I blame it on all the fried rice and fried noodles that I had yesterday for Chinese New Year. Hubby and I got takeout and I just overindulged. I wanted to come on quickly to let you guys know that my favorite lipstick for this episode is the da -da -da -da, Too Faced Lipstick in Spice Spice Baby. This is a very um, me shade. I don't know how else to describe it. It's the type of shade I gravitate towards. It's very comfortable on the lips. I like the scent, I like the texture, I liked the way it reapplied during the day. That day, Hubby and I went with a couple of friends to the Marley's game and I reapplied it multiple times with and without a mirror. I only had to wear lip balm every now and then. This lipstick by itself was rather moisturizing. Before I sign off on today's episode, I wanted to let you guys know that the next episode is going to feature new products to my collection that I've never tried before. So I have two lipsticks that I'm going to be trying in that video and the rest are liquid lipsticks. I'm going to have a little bit of a different approach with those ones because I don't want to open them all and use them all right away. So I'll explain that in the next video. As well in the next video, I'm going to wrap up with all of these lipsticks that I've tested in the first three episodes and let you guys know which ones exactly I am keeping and letting go of. Thank you so much for watching this episode and this series. I hope you're enjoying it. I will be back very soon with another video. Until then, please take care and bye for now.